The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling a problem with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 24, NASDAQ's up 5, S&P's are up 1, gold contract down $12.70, trading at 1325 Silver down 46 cents, $16.70 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 13, $67.27 a barrel. Notes and bonds, you get the 10 year note down eight ticks, 119.09, 30 year bond down 12, 142.23. King dollar, there she is. Been trying to get up and over this March 1st level. Bottom line, it's over it, up 530, 90.600. The euro is at uh, 122.17 to one US dollar. Yen is out here at 108.45 to one US dollar. Uh, notes and bonds, let's go take a look at notes and bonds. So uh, notes and bonds out here, folks, uh, basically have looked over the cliff <laughs> and uh, we'll see whether they're gonna do the deep dive. Uh, you have the 10-year note right now, 119.09. Your, your bottom of this uh, range is 119.14. We've hit 119.06, and I believe this might have hit 3%. You get there yet? Oh, look at that. Not yet. 2.979. Almost. Almost, right? King dollar. Uh, we go to the other side of uh, king dollar out here. We take a look at king dollar. King dollar out here. It's got it. I mean, the, the bottom line, it's been trying to do this 90.400, uh, 490, you know. 94.90, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and last week, it did have an expansion of volume. Look at that volume last week. It was coming into it with 31,000. Takes it out. So bottom line is that that's saying, hey, your next level can get up there to 91.200. And just the opposite, of course, we go into the gold market. Gold out here, you're down 13 bucks, you're at 13.25, and the swing I think is 13.15. I don't know, 13.22.60. 13.15 is down here. Yeah. So we get a big day out here today, man. Yeah. You know, you got the note and bond. Well, hey, let's do the 30 year note. We got the 30 year, we take a look at the 30 year. That's interesting. So, so the 30 year is still, you know, away from its its low, 141.14. We pull this up. That's quite a contraction of volume. It's, it's, we'll see how this shakes out, man. Bottom line is that, uh, let's pull up the, so last week, Friday was option expiration. We pulled back, we did pull back, and we had expansion of volume. So was going into the uh, the 5th of February as well as the 22nd of March. That's where there's big numbers on the way down. And uh, we have a lot of action out here today, man. Yeah. A lot of action. The, um, we got to get, we get, yeah, the Larry and I with the boat ride, man. It looks like, uh, I don't know, it doesn't look like Larry's going to be taking a boat ride. Clue everybody in. What with, are you talking with, about? With the boat ride, we've had a few different bets over the course of the years. Uh, about bonds going higher versus lower, okay. versus lower yield. Um, so Larry's winning this one right now for sure. And who's on what side? Because what, I, I, I don't even clue me in. I, I don't okay, know. Okay, so I've always been saying that yields keep going lower. You okay. know what I mean? Okay, okay. And then, cool. That's, uh, that's all right. Thus far until we got to know who's on what side. That's oh, totally. I mean. <laughs> totally. No doubt. <laughs> no doubt, man. Um, let's go take a look at some of the uh, higher volume stocks. Now, this week, we got lots of numbers coming out this week. Sure, yeah. Um, so right now, this morning, you get, uh, let's see, what is that stock? Oh, that poor stock. Oh, my God. Thank God I don't know that stock. Prothena. Not Prothena sure. is down $25 and is trading at $11. It's got to be biotech. We know that, right? <laughs> it would let's look see. like it, right? Um, there you go, biotech. Yeah, company focused on discovery, develop of uh, novel antibodies for potential treatment of broad range of diseases. 
and I suspect when we go into it, it doesn't have any revenue. It needed that drug. No, look at that. It does have revenue, 31 million. But well, that's that's the projection for this year, right? Yeah. That's, let's see what they say. Drug failure. Oh, look at that one. As shot sellers. Uh, oh, look at that. Casson block. But this guy, this guy's all everything, man. So this is uh, somewhere Carson Block is popping the bubbly, a shot target, uh, Prothena, Tuffia just got much worse. The Dublin-based tech company announced Monday that its mid-stage study of rare protein disease didn't reach its target in the development of the drug. It's going to be discontinued. Yeah. So. Whoa, baby. Yeah. Pretty wild. Yep. The, um... Oh, so let's see what's, uh, we get the beginning of the week, folks, and, uh, you know, if you haven't test, X, XBT, oh, thank you, XBT, if you haven't uh, test-driven test the uh, Nadex platform, great time to do it, um, you yeah, know, Bitcoin, a little Bitcoin. bit of the, this morning, too, right, we were up above 9,000 at one point, yeah. let's jump over here, we get into the Nadex platform, so there's Bitcoin, we spiked above there, right, at about 830, okay, um, I'm just going to jump in here. We'll pull up the Bitcoin spread. So this week we got a spread going from 4,900 to 129. So okay. you have an $8,000 spread. Yeah. Right. The middle of that spread is going to be 8,900, which is essentially where it was as they set the price for this, and it opens at 8 a.m. in the morning on Monday mornings. Yeah. And so let's just see per contract what we're dealing with here. So we're right around 8,900, 8,945. Call it. And so, excuse me, it's going to be half a Bitcoin yep. is going to be per contract. So if you want to trade dollar for dollar, you're trading two contracts, right? And there would be. So you're buying it. Um, and let's just, for simple math, right? We said the middle of that is going to be 8,900. And so there's your simple math, Look right? That. You know, that's, I mean, that's, that's what I, I did because it's that's so pretty it, cool. mentally it makes it easy. You know, in right. terms of per contract, you have loss potential down to 4,900. You have profit potential up to 12,9 if you're buying it. Yeah. On the flip side, if you're selling it, vice versa, right? You have profit yeah. potential down to 4,900, loss potential up to 12,9. Um, and, you know, that's trading dollar for dollar. You buy two. Or you have half a Bitcoin and you have exposure where 50 cents for every dollar movement in Bitcoin. Sure. Yeah. So we'll see how the week goes. But yeah, it's been, we got. Um, and that goes out to Friday at 3 o'clock, folks. Yes. This coming Friday. And yeah, quite an acceleration when look you look at, at even, you know, yeah. we were down there on April 12th and we're not that far away from April 12th at 6,800 and now we're just at about 9,000. Um, <laughs> what movement, right? Definitely a two way market in Bitcoin now, which yeah. is interesting for sure. So let's bring up and see how many contracts we've done thus far at the CBOE and the CME. Yeah, not great, not bad though. 2,500 coins at the CBOE and uh, 1,685 contracts at the CME, which is five coins per contract. Yes, yeah, so that'd be about 8,000 yeah. at the CME total Bitcoin. So you're looking at just over 10,000 total right now. Um, and we've pulled that number up when it's been a little bit higher, usually during the 10 o'clock, whether it's 13, 14, 15,000 total coins sometime during this hour. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> what is, so that's, that's XET though. That's, what is? Uh, that's Ethereum, I, wanna, I believe. Okay. That's, I just wanted yeah. to see what, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, that could be 645. Yeah. 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 Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now down 19. NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are down one and a half. Come right back, folks. Larry Pesavento will be hosting a 90-minute webinar this coming Tuesday, April 24th, for all Fibonacci 24-7 subscribers. Larry has teamed up with fellow trader Jim Bart Bartoloni for this informative 90-minute workshop, taking the ABCD pattern to the next level. Throughout this 90-minute live webinar, some of the topics Larry and Bart will be discussing include the origin of the 1.618, the golden mean, the relationship between numbers and cycles, time and price, the simple math behind market moves, and much, much more. This workshop will be archived if you can't attend live, and all new subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee when signing up for Fibonacci 24-7 so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today while gaining access to Larry and Bart's webinar taking the ABCD pattern to the next level, visit the front page of TFNN.com now.
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now flat. Nasdaq's uh, up six. S&P's are flat. Now, let's go look at uh, how many numbers we're coming out this week. This is going to be interesting. So uh, Amazon is coming out the 26th. Let's get So it's 23rd today. 26th is going to be Thursday. Thursday. Okay, well, okay. So Thursday's Amazon. And Amazon's at 401 Thursday. 401. So that's going to make a difference yep. on if you're trading the, if you wanted to trade a volatility trade inside the Natix platform. Yeah, you could trade right there. Yeah. Whatever, a lot of indices, I'm sure, could react to Amazon for yeah, sure. right. Google today, after market. Oh, this is good. Yep. Okay, that's, let's go look at Google right off the bat. Okay, the 23rd. So Google's laying down here at 1,068. We're backing into light volume at this point. Okay, so... Let's see, Google, Facebook. Uh, Facebook is May, I think. No, the 25th. That's, that's Wednesday, 4.05. Wow, okay, this is pretty cool. What about Microsoft, maybe. Um, yep. So it's Thursday as well, 4.09. For, yeah. Um, Ooh, but this is, this is going to be some big action yeah, this no, week. Yeah, I remember when we were looking this up. Net uh, Netflix we already came out with. Did we? Think, okay. Right? Did, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, yes. Netflix already yeah. came out, okay. Yeah, that's right. Remember, they crushed it on earnings, yeah. the, on, excuse me, on subscriber growth. So yeah. let's look at some of the higher volume stocks right now. Let's just see if we pick up something else out here. So you got uh, Microsoft, uh, Micron Tech. Oh, Apple. Where's Apple? That's right. I knew yeah. we were missing one. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Oh, May 1st. That's next week. Yeah. Let's just see where that falls. 5-1 is going to be a week from tomorrow, so the following We're week, in May, Tuesday. a week from tomorrow. Today's April 23rd. We're right there. Wow. Right there. That is crazy, man. <laughs> that is really crazy. Um, King Dollar. King Dollar. Let's go, let's go look at the... Uh, so, here, let's go look at the euro first, because if King Dollar is going that way, the euro is breaking the other side of... Oh, uh, look, it hasn't broken it yet, but it's getting close to the... But the bottom of the euro's consolidation is 121.55, and you're at 122.25. So I know the euro is, what, a good 50% of that? 60% of, of, of the dollar index. So obviously a few right. of those other currencies are, right. are preventing it from being at exactly yep. the same level. Exactly. The yen yeah. would be the next one. 
Yeah, the yen's getting weaker. The yen's up 79 ticks, 108.45. So it's like, okay, as that goes up in price, it gets weaker against yes. the uh, currency, against the dollar, basically. Sure. Yes. Um, inside the, uh, here, oh, IBM got crushed last week. Yeah, I saw that. Wasn't that wild? Yep. Yeah, I mean. No, it was out Thursday and Friday, but yeah. I was like, I saw that. That was early in the week. When was, was that? Yeah, probably Tuesday. Yeah. Um, so 162 down to 144. They had shrinking profit margins and they had decreasing revenues. Yeah. Not a good combination. No, it's not. It's not. The. Uh... How about Hasbro? I saw oh, they came yeah. out with their earnings this morning. They were putting some blame on Toys R Us right. for disappointing. Um, but check that out. So they spike dramatically lower. I wonder yeah. if this chart's going to have. So, so it is. Where, what's the low say 79. For? So just to is it jump, even less than it that? It is even less than that. Wow. Yeah, it's a jump over. Do I still have it up? Yeah, 75.11. Check okay. that out. I mean, it's up $8 right. from that peak. That's 15%. 10% at yeah. least, right. You yeah. know, in terms of, yeah, if you put it off the 75, you put it, but, I mean, to be positive after spiking down to 75.11, um, Something must be in those numbers that took a little bit. Can we dig into, let's yeah. see what the earnings do say, because that is pretty dramatic, and maybe they are going to write it all off for a one-time Toys R Us. Um, that's, yeah, let's see. We're almost there. Maybe one more? There we go. There we uh, yeah, so. Yeah, here we go. So we have the revenue number of $716 million versus eight twenty one. dollars That's a pretty big miss. That's a big miss. Even bigger miss right there. T earnings of only $0.10 cents a share versus an estimate of $32, um, whether they call it $34 or whatever it is. Yeah. So franchise brands revenue down about 20%. Gaming revenue down about 20%. Man, it's just across the board, right? Um, it's pretty interesting that they the stock came back. So maybe they threw everything in there and they wrote the whole Toys R Us off. They were saying that their first quarter sales hit by the Toys R Us bankruptcy. Right. And I saw that headline there. Um, but she's pretty dramatic misses to be positive for the day. It is. It is. Those bank CEOs must be rolling their eyes saying, come on, man, Seriously? we crushed the world. And they, they trade us down 10% and Hasbro loses money hands over fist and they, they get trade positive for the day. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, that's, and this is interesting here, folks. This this went back to the breakout area of October. $81.54. Uh, February. February, you're looking at it in 2017. Oh, February, yes, yep. February. Uh, 81.54, hit 79. We get a rejection there, man. That's that's different, bigger range up here. Pretty wild. So let's go, let's go over to the uh, banks and see what those babies are doing. But this is pretty amazing. So the banks still can't do anything. And if we look at the... You know, the, sure. the yields, guess what? This is, okay, so let's, the 10-year the, the is 2.97. The two-year, yeah, it's, it, the spread is opening up again. Last week, it was crushing, okay? okay? And that's what, you know, seems everyone's looking at, the, what is the spread? You, yeah. Well, this, fundamentally, the spread for the banks, that's how they make money, sure. big money. And that spread is opening up. But So there's something else that's laying out here for these banks that, just doesn't, don't fly. Sure. You know, it's like, uh, let's look at Bank of America. So we just looked at J.P. Morgan. Bank of America is not doing Excuse much. Me. Goldman. Yeah. Nothing. Interesting, man. How about, can we yep. jump to Amazon? Yep. Jumping just uh, to completely different. I'm just curious how they, did you uh, see the article this morning? that they're Robots. Bu they're building robots, man. They're yeah. going to be here in a year. I know, man. Um, Seriously. So... so so Amazon's, and it would make sense. That's the natural progression of things, yeah. right? You know, you got you got computer robots in your house. That's Alexa. Well, they're just going to change the change the form that they're going to come in. Um, personal robots, and next year, talk about like right now. I know sensors that let them move around our homes. You know, it's like we already have those. What is it? The Roomba, right? The, yeah. the little um, yeah. vacuum. Yeah. Well, you just put an Alexa in a Roomba, and boom, there you go. There's your robot. I'm sure that's probably what it's going to be similar to, right? And, yeah. Uh, so smart robots, as a project named Vesta, according to Blue Out, they lot, may launch as soon as 2019. Um, they didn't say what kind of functions, but you can imagine they're going to be some type of the Amazon Alexa factored into there. But I wonder what kind of functionality they're going to have in terms of being a smart assistant, as and what are they going to do to to move, right? Or are they going to move? Or maybe it's just going to. It's interesting. So look at this is right. Um, they talk about self smart vacuums. Yeah. Um, and sensors uh, allow them to map the floor plan of a house, for example, helping them to smartly move around obstacles, walls, furniture, anything Amazon builds would need to be just as smart. And I'm sure they can have something that can. And then the really question is like, 
Exactly. How big are they? I mean, imagine that you got to build something that is conducive to houses across the world. And I would, that's uh, why the I would guess the easiest with. way to do it is like that. Something yeah. very small that just right. rolls around. No no feet. You and know. then what do you think it will do, though? That's what it's like. That's what's it going to do. Yeah, right. right. Well, maybe it just shows up in your bedroom for your alarm, and then maybe it's... Hey, get up, Tom! Right, right. You know? <laughs> Seriously. Hey. <laughs> oh Seriously. my God! So how about uh, let's jump to Sears? You see, Sears CEO yeah. Eddie Lampert's hedge fund wants yep. to buy Kenmore and other Sears assets. Yeah, I, I knew he was going to do that. Yeah, he's, but we talked about it before. Yes, we did. You know yeah. that. You know, bottom kinda, line is that he financed the deal. If yes. it was going south, he's going to take all the assets. Yep. You know what I mean? But, yep. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 18. Nasdaq's up uh, 20. S&Ps are up 4. Gold's down $13.20. 13 dollars 20 13 25 20 Coming right back. Would you like exposure to the foreign currency markets without any downside risk to your principal? then consider the Petro Currencies Market Safe CD from Everbank. This three-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD leverages the performance of four equally weighted currencies from these top oil-producing countries, Brazil, Canada, Mexico, and Russia. This CD features a 200% leverage factor, which means that your potential upside payment will be double the currency's average performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And if the returns are negative, your principal's 100% protected. Returns are based on CD performance with no correlation to the price of oil, and there is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. The April 19th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA FSB member FDIC. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up four. Nasdaq's up uh, 17. S&Ps are up two. The uh, gold, uh, the this thing, uh, pretty good. 1380, uh, 1324.50. So it goes slow. It's down 1380, right? Trading 1324.50. Yep. yep. Silver uh, down 50 cents. So let's go over silver. Silver uh, had a, a monster week last week. Uh, even when gold was just really going sideways, 
uh, now S S I K eight. Okay, and you know it's basically giving it up in spades. Now let me just see how this volume's coming in because, so we broke top side, 177,000 contracts. You're at 88 now. We'll see whether it slows down. I mean that's that's plenty of time left to do 170 contracts. Sure. You know. Sure. Uh, and it, what what it actually did is that uh, it was not only uh, it was Wednesday and Thursday on top side. So. What you have here is that you do have a break topside with volume on the daily and the weekly. Now what we do need, of course, is that 90-day rejection of lower price. And we'll see uh, if, in fact, we get that. Let's go to our man, Paul, in Henderson, Nevada. What's going on, brother? What's happening, guys? How you guys doing this morning? Good morning, Paul. Doing great now that you've called. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you guys talking about the robot. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Have you guys seen iRobot? I'm never getting one of those in my house. I have seen. That's Will Smith, right? Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a movie? Yeah, that's that's Will Smith. And uh, all the robots, they, 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 you know, have a mind of their own. They end up Oh, turning. really? Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> they come to life and start doing damage on the human. That's uh, hilarious. Right? That is wild. Yeah, I can't, you, you can imagine the tech company saying, oh, I'm sorry. Well, you know, it's funny. I don't know if you've ever seen uh, the show Westworld, Paul. Have you ever seen? Yeah. So that yeah, that's, that's on really HBO, and season two just started last night, and that's okay. where the robots, uh, and they're, they're getting their mind of their own. Same deal where they're supposed to be kind of robots, and guess okay. what? They start getting a mind of their I own. i got to watch that. I watched one of them last year. Westworld's yeah. a good one, yeah. it is, if yeah. anybody's looking for a good drama. Yeah. yeah so Anthony Hopkins, you can't go wrong with Right? Him. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, hey guys, Bitcoin. Hey Tom, do you have Bitcoin Cash on your uh, platform? You know, um, let's pull this over again. I so, think I saw this XBT. I, I think I saw it here last week. Um, I think it's the top one, though. I mean, not that, meaning just not that just it's the first one that's up there. No, that's oh, no, it's not. No. So, so right. for the Bloomberg terminal, it's just Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum, and Litecoin are what's okay. what's listed there. Um, if you want to take a look at that, Paul, we have that Crypto Watch site up there as well. Um, but for Bloomberg, those are the only four they focus on and list. Yeah, that would be great. I want to see, uh, maybe you guys should take a look at it. Maybe give me your opinion on the chart. It had quite a move uh, from the bottom. It's up uh, well over 50%. Look at that. I think it bottomed out around 600. And, and is and, that going to uh, be BCH on there, correct, Paul? Uh, yes. Cool. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Look oh, at man. that so move, we got man. It. That is quite a move, man. So that's doubled um, in, that's over doubled in price in what two weeks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. a daily chart, man. Those are some serious days. What do we do? Six days, we go from eight hundred to fourteen hundred. Wow. And so, so what this is one and EOS went really bonkers. Um, EOS went from three to almost twelve. And, and then you have this one going from 600 to uh, 1400 now. And what is, is there a fundamental story with Bitcoin Cash, Paul, at all? Or is it just potentially a demand? Well, from what I hear, you know, in the community, a lot of, these, a lot of the guys are <clears throat> more excited about Bitcoin Cash because it will be able to be used more. Um, transactions will be faster, so on and so forth. Um, so instead of people hoarding it and just keeping it as a store of value, this one's actually going to be used when the time comes okay um, more functionality so quite a, kind quite of a the move. same thing as an ethereum story in terms of more functionality versus the store of value and what about eos what is what is eos what what crypto is that so eos it's funny because eos in the community they call it doesn't really stand for this but they call it ethereum on steroids okay, um, okay. <laughs> so eos is the ethereum killer uh is what people are saying and okay uh, Brock Pierce, who uh, was very involved in developing Ethereum and is the president of the Bitcoin Foundation, it, this is his project. He has a really good team behind him. So I've been accumulating EOS. Um, they're going to have a similar platform as Ethereum where these dApps, these decentralized applications, will be built on top of the EOS platform. And from what they're saying is that they've got rid of a lot of the bugs that you know, is, is causing some problems with the current Ethereum platform. Um, and it will be it will be faster transactions and and so on and so forth. So um, we'll have to see how it shakes out. But it gets a tremendous amount of volume. I mean, sometimes it does 30 million coins a day, 16 million coins a day. Wow. Um, 
And you know, it's interesting is that, you know, you can almost can make a book right with all the new terms, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right, for sure. Vocabulary, huh? Yeah, right. No, seriously, right? I mean, it, it makes a difference, right? I mean, it's because it, it is a new, it's 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 a new way of the whole new world. Yeah, it, it, it absolutely is. It's you know new hey, way. Have of, you guys heard of Steam It um, by any chance? I thought you guys would really would like this platform. Um, I don't think Steemit so. Steam It is the first. Okay, so Steam It is the first DApp on on the EOS platform, and it's a decentralized uh, social media type of platform where. So a lot of people have been, for whatever reason, being censored on, on certain platforms. They're moving over to Steemit, and Steemit actually pays you Steam dollars for your content, video content, written content, etc. I thought, you know, TFNN might be very interested in, you know, possibly having a presence on Steemit. Um, and you could accumulate these Steam dollars as well, the, the coin, um, if your content gets voted up. So it's very interesting how they're using it, and Steam is a very successful platform. That's the first DAP, as far as I know, is on top of EOS right now. Like, like uh, Steam, like a steamer, S-T-E-A-M, Steam It? Yes. Uh, and you can just put Steam, cryptocurrency. It comes up on, there, I'm not sure. There it is. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Steam It, huh? Yeah. Social media platform where everyone gets paid. So they, they kind of just pipe you into their revenue model with a kickback for your content in crypto there's a lot of um, yeah there's a lot of really popular um, people that post on different platforms that are also moving over to steam it and having steam it part of where they're posting their content so. That's like we pretty, said, brave new world man yeah no there's, there's no doubt and they have quite a um, uh, array. I guess they have everything they, they're looking for everything Bitcoin's one part of it right they got travel food you know, funny news, nature, you know. It would be everything, I think. Yeah, yeah the, right. the crypto okay. is just how you're getting your kickback, right? Right. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Okay, That's exactly, exactly. And where can you use the crypto that they're kicking back, Paul, do you know? Well, I know that you can turn Steam into Ethereum. Um, <laughs> what a trip, you man. Can, <laughs> yeah. You know, okay. use anywhere. Yeah, uh, right. Okay, cool. Wow. So... Well, you got to keep but calling anyway, us and giving us all these cash, up. I was wondering um, what you guys think here. I, was talking, I have a small position that I've just accumulated over time, but I was looking for a nice pullback, perhaps, and then... Um, yeah, you know, stay stay right there. Right. Stay okay. right there. We'll, we'll... I can pull up at least... I can... We'll pull up Bitcoin once again, see where we're at. Stay right there, folks. Uh, Paul, Tommy, myself, we're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's uh, down 51, Nasdaq's up 9, S&P's are off 2, coming right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. SAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. 
For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Folks, Tom and Tommy O'Brien, we do appreciate you growling and prowling with us. We get our man Paul from Henderson, uh, Nevada, and we're, we're looking at uh, Bitcoin Cash. You know what's amazing, Paul, is that, you know, we're just bringing this up, and it's acting just like a, a normal equity would act, meaning it breaks topside. It come right back to where it broke out from in, what month is that now? It's November, November, yeah. yeah, November of last year. We're looking at a weekly, Paul, and that has some huge okay. volume if you put Bitcoin Cash on that weekly, and yeah. it looks like the low was like 611, and so just remarking how it pulled kind of all the way back to that level before it shot up from there. And that's normally a good indication, man, that that's, and that's what equities like to do. That's what, you know, you, you pull back into a strength. You did it with lighter volume. If we just rely just on this platform here, and you take off, and you take off with strength. So that's saying it's, guess what? You know, it doesn't have to go to a high, but it's it's eating into, you know, those levels. And, and it's really saying that the, the first level up, once you get by, what's the low of that right there? 1343, so the numbers, whoops. Where were you, right here, yeah? Uh, no, the, the next one, to the bottom of that, you know what I mean, if it goes into the bottom Yeah, so it's the week of January 10th, and that's the low of like 1343. And that's where we're looking at the bar, Paul, in a weekly where it went from about 2960 okay. yeah. all the way down to 1343. And it's already into it, right? It's 1391. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So it's once you tail. get into a bar like that, you know, the deeper you get in, the more probability you go to the high of that bar. And the high of that bar is pretty sick. 2960. Oh my God. That is. Seriously. Yeah. You get action there, man. I mean, that's how that's how it's looking. Okay. That's nice. I'm looking at the weekly chart here on Tiger TV, and I totally missed that. But I see what you're, what you're talking about there with, you know, the dramatically lighter volume. It's a right classic, the, man. It's, wow. I'm, I'm surprised. I can tell you I'm surprised, meaning that I'm looking at a crypto and it act that, you know, classic textbook. You know, you break out, have volume, come back down, reject lower price. Dramatically light of volume, it's supply and demand, man. So, you know. And so let me ask you this. Is this yes. platform here, is that is this the only place that this is actually traded Bitcoin Cash or they trade a lot of different places? It trades a lot of different places. Okay. Um, primarily GDAC and uh, and Binance are the two places that I trade. Yeah. Um, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is there's probably a lot of bag holders because when, when Bitcoin Cash first came out on GDAC, it, they just took a lot of people to the cleaners. Yeah, no, I, listen, that supply line's going to be big. There's, you know, yeah. that thing come down hard, there's no doubt. But guess what? It's it's going up pretty good, man. Well, it so. is. It's uh, very interesting. A lot of uh, day traders that I know that are trading the Momo stocks and very successful at it, they switched over to primarily trading cryptos because of the technical analysis. It just behaves in a, in a more better way, they think. So... You know, they, they moved over to trading crypto, and they're just as successful, but they're trading primarily, you know, just only cryptos. No, I could see that. I mean, you know, the, the bottom line is that 
this type of movement, when you have movement of hundreds of dollars in, you know, a couple of weeks, well, you know. Or even call it like almost 100% yeah, in like a week. That's, which is really That's right. what traders want, man. Do you know what totally. I mean? There's, there's no two ways about that. You stop piling on and it's like, okay, here we go. Let's see what we can do with it. We can take it up. We're going to take it down. Yeah, so. I can't wait. Do you think that they'll be on interactive brokers and other platforms like that where people could trade them with a little bit more confidence that they're going to get their, their money back? I think the large broker deals will be the last ones. Interactive came out right at the very beginning, if you remember that. That CEO, he, he, he totally said that he, he was making his clients put up more money than the coin was even worth, so no one would trade it. Um, you know, so just because it moves like this, right? Like, in fairness, right, I mean, right. Like, so they they're not on board yet. I would say that you know it doesn't mean they're not going to be though. Because guess what? If we've learned anything, as soon as anything trades quite a bit, the banks want in. There's the, they'll trade anything. They want in. They you know the price spreads in this must be driving them crazy because there's there's an opening for you know broker dealers and banks in a big way because the the price spread is there. As if if they can figure a way to stay delta neutral at the end of the day or yeah. what is the end of the day right you know what i mean so yeah because these candlesticks i mean one day is 24 hours i believe they open up at three pacific time is the the new daily candle okay um, each day on, that's good on to know watch, okay so. yeah um, well it's gonna be very interesting you got so some action time, man guys. hey listen it, it looks like it looks like all those it, it, looking at this chart and, and even the way bitcoin went it looks like there's action again in, in the whole cryptocurrency world. Oh, you know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah. And now, you, yes. you know, that, and that's going to build more confidence that, you know, if we just hit a low again and now it goes up three or 4,000, then it comes back and you get a range, a real range going. That's going to build confidence in the aspect of people trading it, period. Real market two ways. Right? Yeah, yeah, right, right. Cooking, brother. It's going to be interesting. Hey, thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Thank you, man. Have a great one, man. Have a safe Bye. one. In terms of interesting stuff we have going on as well. Oh, yeah. It's amazing how time flies. February, oh, excuse me, February. Listen to me as time flies. April 24th happens to be tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Larry just finished up a great show he had at 9 yep. o'clock. He had Arch Crawford on there, great guest. He's always got great guests. He said Jim Bartoloni on his program before, and he has Jim tomorrow night for 90 minutes uh, for subscribers at Fibonacci 24-7, taking the ABCD pattern to the next level. Larry and Jim... Jim Bart Bartoloni, Larry calls him Bart. No, exactly, uh, right, right. So when I was hearing that ad, I, I thought at first it was a typo. Uh, no, that, and I, that's that, why, you know, was, I was right. like, I don't know Jim myself, no, Bart, Bart myself. Yeah, so yeah, Bart. so um, they're going to be in there, both of them, tomorrow night with subscribers to Larry's newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7, tomorrow from 6 till 7.30. Workshop will be archived if you can't attend live. And I encourage people to sign up right now because Larry just put out his weekly newsletter. It came out last night. Yeah. So he goes over a good couple pages of commentary about all the different markets. And then he adds in there about 15, 20 different charts of all the different. So that comes out usually Sunday nights or Monday morning. His report last night, published last night to all his subscribers. You'd have access to that in the archives if you sign up. And then, of course, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry's sending charts, videos at all times throughout the week. And then you gain access to the workshop tomorrow night. And they're going to be in there talking about a lot of stuff. I encourage people to go over, click on the link. New subscribers get 30-day money-back guarantee. It's only $97 a month as is. Definitely worth it. And they're going to be talking about those ABCD patterns, an hour and a half, too. It's going to be a good workshop. I'll be here in the office watching it for sure. Um, and Bart really has a cool history himself. I'll be interested. Yeah. So um, so to dig in, one of his students um, played the ultimate game, the game where you misread the next sequence of moves. You don't lose the game. You lose your life. He was an F-14 Tomcat, 11 years as a Navy fighter pilot and attended That's the intense. Navy's best of the best top gun to school. Um, as a combat pretty, pilot, yeah, pretty cool for sure. We'll have to have another workshop for for stories of that. That yeah, <sighs> that would be man. cool for sure, man. That, that's that's some some real life experience, man. Yeah, for sure. Right. As you know, you were in the Marines. You yeah. know, it's like you, you but eleven years. Uh, Top Gun, baby. Top Gun. Yeah. We'll have to get that Top Gun music ready for tomorrow night. There oh, that'd be cool. We'll see what happens. Totally, totally. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow right now uh, down 15. Nasdaq's up 25. S&Ps are uh, up to three. 
basically you're trading sideways out here. Gold's down at 12, 50, silver's off uh, 46 cents, slamming that baby. Um, dollar, dollar's still hanging over those highs. We're at 95.15. Tommy, I come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, yeah, so we were just pulling up uh, aluminum and, yeah. and palladium, right? They're, they're, uh, this has to do with the sanctions. Uh, yeah. So the Treasury said it would provide sanction relief to Russell if Oleg Deripaska relinquished control. Either way, you had aluminum prices pulling back dramatically to the tune of 6 8% on the heels of that announcement. And then what this article just kind of talked about as well is you had palladium plunging as much as 4%, nickel 5.7%. Um, they, had, they had all jumped tremendously higher because of the yeah, sanctions. Yeah, I mean, look at the run up, right? Yeah. You know, in, in just um, kind of April, and then, you know, as, as kind of some of that um, fundamental news gets scaled back, you see a retreat back to kind of the levels before those sanctions. Pretty yeah, amazing, man. Definitely. So the... Uh, and that's palladium that we just pulled up, yes. so there's that yep. spike for sure. The... Uh, and you know what? Let me see oh. if we do. We do. Let's try and get to him. John from Philly. Oh, good. good morning, John. Hey, John. What's going on, brother? Um, uh, good morning to you both. Tom, quick question. The 10-year yield treasury chart, please, if you could, Tom. Uh, TNX, I believe, is a ticker symbol. If you could pull up the weekly chart, we, uh, you may note 
3.00 was tested this morning. That high, or excuse me, that is testing the high of, uh, I think it was New Year's Eve 2013. My question, Tom, what parameters will you use to give us a clue, to give yourself a clue that a move above 3 and 303 is in fact a breakout move rather than a false move higher? Well, we'd have to get away from this area, first off, you know, with with force, right? Um, and that, if it does, guess what? Then, you know, I mean, this 10-year, that can get down to 117. That's where, you know, basically it took off from uh, February of 2011. You know what I mean? There's a lot of support here to basically say that, hey, listen, yeah, it might go to three, but it doesn't look like it could, could go much lower. Thanks for the call, John. Cooking, brother. Stay right there, folks. Swim lessons coming up next. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.